we're going, we have to. Or we have to. Oh shit, there's a step there. <laughs> I'm not used to this recording stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really loosen up to it either. Oh, hey, I gotta, hey, I gotta, I gotta. Today, Chef, I made you... You want to do an unboxing for me? I unbox it for you? Wranglers Hall! I don't know what you mean. <laughs> so do Watch I... Watch more YouTube. So I unbox it? Yeah. It's a PR unboxing. I have um, sponsors, and Wranglers is one of my sponsors. And oh. They sent me some stuff so I can show it to you in a haul and give you a coupon code so then you can, therefore then purchase said items at a discount. Coupon code awesome. STEP10, coupon Wranglers code. Dot com. <laughs> Oh, this is my jam. Coconuts? <laughs> yes. You uh, need to wash the said car. I need to get it scrubbed in detail, that's so gross. I said it in three of my vlogs, I still haven't said it. I'm recording this for your vlog. Good morning. Okay, everything in my car. All right. It's Wednesday. That means 6 a.m. boot camp. I woke up. I Peloton for the first time in a week. Nick got the internet figured out so I could at least ride. Uh, he tethered to my phone. But... Yeah, so uh, right now I'm just waiting for a phone case and <laughs> so I can put this um, on my mount. But for now, I'm just gonna drive down my driveway and um, hold my phone. But anyway, so whew, got to ride my Peloton today, got to connect with Cody Rigsby, love it. And yeah, I'm gonna go teach. I had enough time to plan my class, thank goodness, and um, create a playlist. So worth, worth driving. Woo, worth driving today. Okay. So today I am taking, I'm teaching class and then I'm taking the class right after. And then I have a coffee meeting across the street and then I'm going to get my nails done because my nails be wretched, wretched. So that's the plan for today. I think Nick and I have to head to Morro Bay to do some, um, some, what's it called? Errands for the studio. And then, yeah, the rest of the day, uh, we'll see kind of where it takes us, but, uh, wow. All right. I'm... <laughs> Woo. Glad I got to ride the bike today and it feels really good. So I didn't drink it all yesterday. That also makes me feel really good. So <laughs> we're feeling great and um, I'm excited to start the day with my peeps. All right, let's listen to some music. <laughs> okay. I'm in the office slash storage room right now. Um, trying to do some journaling, but uh, basically just wrote down our collective intention for the day. Basically, because of my experience of losing my phone, just like I noticed things that I would just habitually go to if I was bored or if I wanted to just distract myself with something. 
Um, so our intention today was just observing what's truly enhancing your experience or what you're choosing to do or to think about just based off of the fact that you want to distract yourself or escape from from the present. So that's kind of, that was what we worked through hopefully this morning. But yeah, so I wrote that down just so I can have my little nugget, my little memoir of today. But okay, so essentially what happened with my phone was I wish that it was like, I was having a great time. I took a bite of my freshly barbecued hot dog and my phone slipped into the water. No, it was like my phone, this is what we think happened. My phone was on the bumper and I set it down and then we were kind of in a hurry to leave because it's kind of chaotic because you're on the side of the road and there's like one way streets in Bass Lake. So anyway, so I left my phone on the bumper. We drove away. And then within like five minutes, our, my music stopped from being connected to Bluetooth and I was like, oh, it's fine. No, it was not fine. I think my phone got smashed and then stolen. I don't know, but it was my wallet. So inside my phone case was my ID, all of my credit cards. Like, so we canceled those like within 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but it's still a bummer. So anyway, so I submitted my request and uh, for a new ID, for now I'm carrying around my passport and now I have to like redo all of my credit cards on all these websites and y'all know I'm sure it's happened to most of us but also I freaking look at this I'm like creating scars left and right because just freshly fresh razors it's really like come on Steph okay I'm gonna go take yoga Okay, it is 10.09, it feels like it should be two. I forget that that's kind of how the day goes when you wake up at 4.15 in the morning. But um, I am done with my coffee date, it was nice, and I had some great classes this morning. I'm feeling just like a really, I'm a happy human. And I'm currently parked at the gas station because I don't have any credit cards because again, they got totally, they, they didn't make it. They didn't make it through the cabin trip. So um, I don't have a credit card to get gas. So Nick is going to meet me here. He already met me into town to bring me um, other cards and some cash because I was going to go to the nail salon. But turns out it's graduation weekend and the entire salon was totally full with people waiting. It was going to take me literally like probably two hours just to get a gel pedicure and a regular manicure. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be doing that with my day. So I'll just come tomorrow. Maybe I won't come tomorrow because I don't know. My feet are so bad. I don't even know what I'm going to do. But anyway, and as we all know, at nail salons, your appointment does not matter. It just doesn't matter. Like you're, you're like, I have an appointment and you're still waiting for like half hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour sometimes get your nails done. Who knows? Anyways. So I'm waiting for Nick to meet me at the, uh, the gas station. And then I think we're just gonna sync back up at home and I'm going to change and we're gonna head to probably Morro Bay, do our errands, grab some lunch there maybe. And yeah, kind of see see what else is going okay, on. Okay, so Nick just finished payroll and I basically finished the newsletter, which is incredible. And um, yeah, we just, we were really productive for the last hour and a half, two hours. I'm in the car now. I was freezing in my house. So I'm in the car now. It's nice and warm in here. Nick is talking to his dad right now. I'm going to go grab him. But yeah, we're headed to the Laurel Lane studio because we need to take some measurements uh, for some purchasing. And we are, what's after that? We're going to Morro Bay, like I said, to pick up some stuff. And then uh, yeah, hopefully grabbing lunch. I am starving. It's 1239. I haven't really eaten today at all. And um, that's not okay. So that's the plan. My hair is like a day old and I sweat in it like twice. It's just not cute. So I'm gonna have to figure out what the hell I'm doing with that. But that's the update. <laughs> You're totally right, I don't have the zooms. I don't have the free zooms. <laughs> Paper cut. What the heck? 
I was trying to find that cut all yesterday. I could not find it, but I was like, why does my freaking face hurt? So Nick and I woke up to a disturbing text from our desk staff, um, the homeless encampment that's near the creek off of Santa Rosa, which is the street, the busy street near our house. There was a fire at the homeless encampment yesterday. And so apparently they all decided to move into our center and she showed me a picture of it and there's basically like, I mean, at least eight um, different like encampments that have decided to come in and like right, right in our center in front of some businesses. Um, it's not in front of ours directly, but it's in the line of where people, you know, walk and get to our studio. So it's just really, it's concerning and um, it's frustrating and um, it's scary. So, so I, I know the officer who called me, I'm like, I'm so frazzled. I don't know how I'm going to teach this class at 7:30. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just like, I'm so frazzled. And I'm also really scared because Nick just went there and tr to try to like coax them out of that area. And I'm like, that always just really scares me because, um, homeless people, like they weren't particularly nice to that officer. I don't think because when she asked them, they were like, no, uh, the owner of cloud nine is allowing us to be here. And I'm like, no, I highly doubt that he is. Um, so it's like, she's like, you know, you have to press charges in this case. And this is just so weird. And it's so fucking frustrating. I'm so frustrated. Like I want to scream, but I'm like, no Steph, don't get angry. Like this is going to get resolved. So I'm going there right now. We'll see what happens and I'll try to get some footage of it. Um, hopefully they're going to be gone, but like, I'll try to get some footage of, of what I'm dealing with. But I guess I can insert a picture, the picture that my staff sent me this morning. I'll do that. pretty chaotic morning to start but uh yeah so after I got to the studio it's still it was still a little weird weird energy here but um yeah so I think that the sale is now done it's finished so hopefully that alleviated a lot um definitely uh nobody was really happy about the situation so we had to talk to our property management and all these things to kind of work out a solution for that but yeah so that was crazy my hair's all wet um, but after that, uh, we filmed some classes for on demand. I filmed a meditation, which I'm really, really excited about and something that I've been putting off and just cause I've been scared to do it. I've never led a meditation before a guided meditation. So I'm proud of myself for that. It's posted and, uh, yeah. And then I took the 1030 bar class because my, I just, I finished mentoring, uh, one of my friends and she just crushed that class. It was amazing. I'm just really proud of her. Lindsay, you're incredible. So good. Uh, yeah, so now I think I'm gonna hang out here a little bit longer, chat with my desk staff, and then uh, head out. I'm so hungry. I've done enough physical activity today to warrant some freaking good ass food. So um, let's get out of here. On with the day. Thursday. We about to do some cotto picking in our backyard. Yes. As I've stated previously, our house is always under construction. Hi, Finley. 
here comes the pup. <laughs> Friday angle. I'm headed down my driveway. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So it's Friday. I teach the 730 power. That's what I'm on my way to right now. And then I have a coffee date, which I don't know because I already just made myself a latte, but it's okay. <laughs> I have a coffee date or a meeting, I guess I can say, a coffee meeting. And uh, then I have a Zoom meeting at 11. So I kind of had this like weird like gap, but I think I'm gonna be able to make it home in time after my coffee meeting to come home for my Zoom meeting. So that's the plan. And then I, I'm pretty free the rest of the day. I do have to take care of a few things. Oh my goodness. Our, The newsletter drops in a half an hour. So there's that. Um, I'm really proud of this newsletter actually. I think it's really thorough. I think um, I clear up some things in it and um, I announce some exciting things that are happening at Spark. So it's just awesome. So I'm really proud of this one. So Nick and I are going to sushi with some friends tonight. And then tomorrow I'm planning on going to class the studio. And then let's see. I feel like we had something to do. Oh, Sunday we have to go to the studio and um, put the numbers on each of the mat spaces. So as you've seen through time lapse, Nick and I have kind of been progressing with our mats because um, at Spark, now we have everyone pick a spot when they pre-register for class. So um, we have to have numbers on each spot so that people know where, <laughs> where to go. And uh, so now that we've, uh, we're increasing capacity next week, um, because of the new California mandates or California like reopening basically the state reopening um, so yeah so we have to kind of hopefully this is the last time we're gonna have to do anything I'm saying a prayer but yeah it feels like this is the the, the most permanent that we that we're gonna have it so that's really exciting but yeah sushi tonight tomorrow is kind of just free we don't know what we're doing but we'll probably find live music somewhere knowing us <laughs> maybe work on the house a little bit but that's probably not going to happen and yeah so it's supposed to be super warm next week and i'm really excited so uh i'm a member of the elks lodge and so we, i haven't been in i mean you can probably know and i want to go to the pool so i might do that next week sometime when it's not so crowded and that will be really exciting for me because it's been way too long and I love the freaking Elks Lodge. <laughs> I used to go there and tan and um, and work in between my like classes or in between my work day, my work shift, kind of a midday jaunt. And I miss that so much. So I'm excited to go back to the Elks and make hopefully make it make it more of a routine and um, a part of my week and a part of my All week. right. I just finished my coffee date, my coffee meeting. We went to Field Day Coffee, which is off of Monterey Street. Um, and I hadn't been here before, but I, I do briefly kind of know the owners of this place. And um, I'm just so proud of them. They're expanding and the coffee was freaking, I had a chai because I've already had coffee, but like that was a really great experience. I'm just so proud of them. I'm just, I am so proud of the people who, who do the damn thing, who are like, you know, they, they take a risk, they take a risk, they go all in, and um, now they're expanding, they're doing really well. I don't know, I just get so excited for, for people's success when they're when you know they're good people, so. So I just went and grabbed some eggs, I'm trying to make a couple of eggs, I'm hungry. And uh, we have a lot of bounties, so we'll have, to, we'll have to dive into that. Thank you, chickies.
boy Nick here um, we're on little little big falls it's a literal little of the big falls Steph's back there Stop. Stop. She's, she's trying to keep a good mood we just broke her car it's pretty bad fam whole bottom ripped out I don't know if she's gonna survive but we'll see we do our best a little too deep of water. It was pretty deep. It was like basically up to the door. Yeah. It was really, it was really deep. Like we should have stopped afterwards and measured that shit. Yeah. This is kind of cool. What is this? Mm -hmm. Don't pee next to the poison oak. Oh, there's a lot. It's like all, oh, you gotta look mm -hmm. in the ground. It's like littered. This is dangerous. So I assume normally this is a babbling brook, yeah. which you would have to cross. It's kind of cool. Not quite as tall as one at Sycamore Hot Springs, but not bad. This thing. No mm -hmm. tower? Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, it's me, Steph. It's been an eventful 45 minutes. So we decided that we wanted to hike we had some free time this afternoon before our dinner plans. So I thought it was a great idea to try to hike Big Falls kind of outside of Lopez Lake. So the water that you go through here, there's a lot of them to get to Big Falls, just some like water patches and one was really deep and really fucked up my car. So the past five days I lost my phone and fucked up my car so life is life is pretty great um anyways also I'm starting to feel dehydrated and when I'm dehydrated my bowels freak out so I'm in the middle of nowhere and uh might have a situation here so it's fine we're at Little Falls Hike now because we didn't quite make it to Big Falls because of my car. So we're hiking Little Falls. We've never done this before. So it's actually quite nice. It's pretty dry, but the creek is still there-ish. But it's warm. It's warm. I have water that I'm gonna just chug in a second. And uh, yeah, obviously no one's really on this hike, so that's also nice. We'll change the pace from being in San Luis Obispo area. But yeah, okay, my arm is tired. Shout out to Nick for unscrewing my front bumper or undercarriage, whatever it is. And shout out to my car for not being able to handle it in these particular situations. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 10 4. Around here, really likes ladybugs for their uh, plants. Cause these are, I've never seen so many in my life. Mm -mm. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Right. They like the ferns. Wow, this is really cool over here. Dang. Except like you can't over your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you brought your mask. Hey, it's a bandana. Don't you dare pull this in the mouth. Yeah, it doesn't count. You're not allowed to wear that. That doesn't work at Disneyland. Nope. Ooh, I don't like things falling on me regardless of if they're from there. That's awesome. It's uh, good. You're not allowed alcohol on this hike, by the way. Well, nobody knew that until you said something. Oh, wow. That's awesome. We gotta put us. Yeah. And Nick. Yeah. What do I say? From AG. And then C. 
six uh, eleven. Any final words? Nope. <laughs> Live long and prosper. No. Um. Have a good day. Thank you. Saturday morning. I'm really debating going to class, um, but it starts relatively soon. I would have to race out of here. Oh, actually, I don't even think I'd be able to get out anyways. Well, that's a lovely excuse. So yeah, uh, not going to class. Nick and his dad are outside meeting with the gentleman who is helping fix the tractor. Uh, we need the tractor for multiple reasons, but it has not worked in years. So, um, they're finally getting that taken care of. And I uh, just am editing my vlog, actually. Um, I have not even like opened up, uh, I use iMovie to edit and I haven't even opened it up this week at all. So I finally, uh, uploaded all of my footage and, um, got it all edited and stuff. So I'm now on top of it. Last night, sushi was so good and so fun. Um, we were literally there from six to 11. Like that was, that was a freaking, that was a freaking jaunt. <laughs> but we had a lot of fun and uh, met some, met some good friends. And yeah, so now I just made myself some coffee. I did um, try to make espresso. But then I realized that I don't have enough almond milk left. So... So I just made myself some drip coffee, put the rest of my almond milk in that cup, and then um, now I'm soaking some almonds. It's all really exciting stuff over here, guys. So I decided to, <clears throat> oh, decided to um, sit down and read a little bit. I'm reading The Help right now, and I'm actually really surprised that I have not read this book yet. So it's so good so far. I think I'm, what is it, 14% in, so... I'm really enjoying it, but I thought I'd mention I was just folding some clothes and kind of trying to weed out the things that I don't need or want anymore in my closet. And I've been doing a lot of um, just purchasing lately and kind of redoing my wardrobe a little bit and something that I found just to be, I mean, it, it sounds so simple and so just like obvious, but I'm realizing how much more confident and good I feel in clothes. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me. That like actually fit me and are flattering. And um, it's been really challenging for me to kind of, I guess, grieve old seasons of my, you know, my figure or my body and, uh, and it's so I've just really been reluctant to purchase new clothes because that's kind of like me in, in my head. I'm like admitting, hey, Steph, like you don't this number one isn't like age appropriate for you. And number two, it doesn't fit you properly. Like buy clothes that fit you. It doesn't matter what size they are. It doesn't matter. Just buy the clothes that make you feel really confident and ultimately the clothes that used to fit me, they, they don't, they're not cute anymore and they're not cute on me anymore for multiple reasons. And, um, so I recently just like came to terms with it and just started buying clothes that I want and that make me feel good. So, uh, yeah, I was just kind of weeding out some old like shorts and, and shirts and things like that, that I, I really shouldn't be wearing and that I don't want to wear anymore. Um, because I don't feel confident. Like I, I did at one point, uh, but I don't feel confident in them anymore. And that's okay because now like I am building a whole new wardrobe where I feel like I, um, I'm just basically not reinventing myself, but coming into myself and leaning into the season of my life. And, um, I'm 35 
and uh, yeah, it just feels, it feels like a good time. So I just thought I'd share that because um, I think I mentioned too with one of my friends, maybe it was last week that like, why, why buy, <clears throat> why buy clothing that doesn't fit you just because you want it to fit or just because you're like, oh, this, this might fit me later. It's like, no, buy the things that fit you right now and that make you feel confident and good right now. And so, and that way you're not discouraged or you're not um, tempted to shame yourself or self-deprecate. And so anyway, I thought I would share that. I don't know um, if that resonates with anybody, but uh, it's just something that I'm going through and something that I'm acknowledging in my life. So it's, it's kind of exciting just to create a new wardrobe and um, have fun with different styles. Some things that I've never tried before, never felt like I wanted to try. So yeah, thought I'd share that. Anyways, okay, back to the help. Okay, Nick and I are headed out. We are running some errands to uh, prepare for a surf and turf dinner tonight. We are craving it ever since we went to Ducey's, um at Bass Lake. So we're gonna try to recreate or create our own surf and turf dinner situation. Okay, so they only had frozen lobster tails, which won't work because I won't do frosting time for tonight. So, <sighs> plan B. What's plan B, Vons? Okay, here's the setup. We're frying some tortillas. We got some salsa at Vons, and it's super spicy and delicious. So, obviously, we're not going to eat all this, but we're going to have some for, on reserve for later. And then um, Nick is preparing the carrots that we're gonna grill. Um, and we're also gonna grill these veggies too to go with our, um, our surf and turf. And we're watching This Is The End. <laughs> okay, here's what we got. Excuse the washing machine. Two lobster tails, zhuzhed in butter, or olive oil, butter, olive oil, and um, let's see, I think you said red peppers, right? Salt and pepper, oh, okay. And then this is, oh. <gasps> the washing machine was moving, <laughs> and this shell on top totally just Watching the Dodger game, cooking us some veggies, some steaks, and some lobster. Yeah, broccoli is gonna cook quick. This is indeed what heaven looks like. Wow. Okay, so Nick and I just finished at the studio. Whew, it took us about it was like a couple hours to get everything. Um, done with the numbers on the floor. It looks really good. We're really stoked on it. And um, yeah, so now I think we're trying to head to get some food somewhere. We took separate cars because we weren't sure what time we'd finish and what time I would be headed to the beach to see um, my friend. So that's where we're headed now, trying to find food. There is this guy with the cutest fucking corgi right there. I just can't even, I can't even with the corgi. But anyways, yeah, so we're a little hangry. And uh, so we're hoping that Rooster Creek in AG isn't too packed because I feel like that's that's always been our jam. And also um, it's away from the, hopefully away from the graduation crowd. So if y'all are from San Luis, you know how crazy this freaking graduation um, weekend is. And um, it's COVID, but it's still like, holy shit, it's busy as frick. So anyway, that's the plan. I'm gonna focus on driving now. Okay, bye. Hey guys. Oh, 
My lips have been so chapped lately, but um, I've never filmed an outro before or recorded an outro before, so um, it's first time for everything. But it's Monday and uh, I just had, I just taught my first class with the um, increased capacity and I've just been so emotional all morning. I've been crying, just happy tears and just in disbelief that we've made it through all of this. But um, if I feel compelled to talk about just kind of my emotions throughout all this, I will um, in this vlog, but I'm just so happy. I'm on a freaking cloud right now. I'm about to go have lunch and hang out with my mom um, downtown and uh, yeah, so. I'm happy and thank you guys so much for watching and for tuning in. Um, my life is interesting to some of you, so that's, that's awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.